People often ask me how to extend a afghan panel because they want to not just have the limited panel that you have when you're using a afghan or Tunisian crochet hook because it only will hold so many stitches. Another option is a afghan hook that has a wire extension which then has a stopper at the very end. I don't like to use that one so I tend to either make a panel and then join it with a fancy join or even a simple single crochet stitch. Now Lily Chin has a really nice DVD that shows a number of ways of joining or extending the panels my version of it is working through the last foundation stitch and joining my new yarn. It can be the same color, I can be working the same stitch, or I can do another color and do a new stitch, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm putting under the two loops of my very bottom foundation chain, and I'm going to add my new yarn and I'm going to just do a few chains since I merely want to show you a sample here of how to do it. Something I do that's a little bit different, I work under every chain. I like to go under that back loop and pull it up. I like to work under that back loop so you have a nice clean chain on your bottom edge, but I also work through every chain and the reason for that is I like to keep that corner a little stiffer by not skipping a chain but most importantly I want to um, I do my cast off a little differently most people do the single and then two 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 by having this extra loop in there I do a cast off that is straight yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. I don't do the one stitch. And the reason for that is when I'm working without joining, um, it just helps my non-dominant hand edge to be cleaner and nice, like this edge is nice and pretty, which is fine for my dominant edge. But when I did the single, it just didn't work for me. It looked messy on the other end. So that's why by doing it this way, I get a clean edge on both sides. Now when I get to my join, it's very simple. I just put my hook under those top two loops or that chain that's on the edge. I go from front to back, do a yarn over and pull through. Now it's very important at this point to count how many loops you have on your hook. I've only got six because it's so small, but if you could have 30 or more. And the important thing about that is you want to make sure that you keep your panel even. And again, the cast off is very simple. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Now I'm going to begin my afghan stitch and I'm just going to do the Tunisian simple stitch which means I'm using a regular hook now because the sample is so small but obviously I would be using my um, afghan hook at this point for sure I'm going to insert under the front bar yarn over pull through and keep that hook keep that loop on my hook and I'm just going to work that simple stitch down the edge and of course you can be using any stitch you want and when I get to I finished my last one and I'm ready to join again very simply hook goes from the front to the back under those two end loops yarn over, pull through, and I just continue working my pattern, joining as many sections as I want. I can make it as wide as I want. I can make an afghan, a huge afghan. I can make a baby blanket. 
And then to finish it off, continue working whatever your pattern is. Since I'm doing the basic or the Tunisian simple stitch, I'm just going to act as if I'm going to finish it off. But instead, I could either pull that loop through the loop on my hook and do a, a slip stitch. I kind of like to end off with a single crochet, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, you keep working in your pattern, but instead of keeping the loops on the hook, you just make a single crochet and it finishes off the edge of your panel. And the important thing is when you get to, the, say this is the top of my panel now, the white one or the cream colored panel, I'm just going to do the same thing and end off with a single crochet and then I'll, you know, pull my yarn through and end it off. And what's nice about that is it does give a nice smooth join. So when you're, I didn't end off this one obviously, but if I had tied that knot, I would have had a nice smooth edge. And now when I wanted to work around my panel, maybe with a simple end off, or maybe I want to add a fancy border, everything is nice and smooth and ready to go. If you would like to see any free patterns, just go to free patterns at simpleandsensational.com.